Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go through the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 version 20H2. A clean installation is just a way to delete everything on the computer and installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help to avoid upgrade problems, but you will be starting with a new installation we can improve system performance and fix existing issues. If you're going to use this option, it is always recommended to create a full backup of your computer before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find the link to the video with the steps to do a full backup and additional information such as the release date for this update and more. In this tutorial, I'll be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media to install Windows 10 version 22. To start, you need to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website using the download tool now button under the Create Windows Installation Media section. You will find a link to this page in the video description below. Just remember that if you download the tool before the version 22 is available, you won't be able to install the new version. Once the download is complete, double click the file to launch the installation. Click Accept select the create installation media option and click next if you're creating the bootable media for another pc you can clear this option and select the architecture or you can also change the language i don't need to change any of these settings so i'm going to check that option and then click next select the usb option and click next Select the USB drive from the list. If it is not available, you can always click the refresh drive list option and then click next. Once the media has been created, click the finish button, keep the USB drive connected and reboot the computer. Also, you have to make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot a computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So you need to make sure to check your device manufacturer for more details. Usually, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions, delete or escape keys on the keyboard during boot. Once you're ready, restart the computer to start installation. After restarting the computer with the bootable media, in the Windows Setup, click the Next button. Now click the Install button. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After the installation, Windows 10 will reactivate automatically. To continue, click the I don't have a product key option. If you're given the option, select the correct edition of Windows 10 that was previously installed on your computer. In my case, it's Windows 10 Pro. Then click Next. Check the Accept the License Terms and click Next. Select the Custom option to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 with version 20H2. If you have multiple partitions, select each one and click the Delete option. Deleting all the partitions allows you to have a single unallocated space to let Windows 10 create a single big partition for the new installation. Just remember that removing the partitions will also delete any data that was stored on those partitions. Also, remember that you only need to remove the partitions off the hard drive that you want to install Windows 10. If you have multiple hard drives, you don't need to delete those partitions. Once you deleted all the partitions, select the unallocated space and click Next to begin the clean installation of Windows 10. So now we're in the AutoBox experience that will allow us to complete the installation of Windows 10. First, select your region and click Yes. Select your keyboard layout and click Yes. Unless you have to add a second keyboard layout, click Skip. Select the Setup for Personal Use option and click Next. Now we're going to create an account for the computer. And here you want to use your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can click the 
create account option and the setup will guide you through the steps. If you want to use a local account, you have to click the offline account option. Once you enter the Microsoft account, click next. Now enter the password for the account and click next. Now we're going to create a pen to access the account. If you want to continue to use a password to access your Windows 10 account, instead of setting up a pen, you have to click the cancel button to continue. But it's usually recommended to use a pen. Once you enter the pen, click OK. In this page, use the total switches to configure the privacy settings. If you want, you can turn off the settings to see how it's going to affect your experience. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave all the settings enabled. Once you're ready, click Accept. On this page, you can decide whether to enable or disable timeline synchronization across your devices. For now, I'm just going to click No. You can always change the settings later. You can also link your Android phone to your computer, but in this case, I'm just going to click Do it later. On Windows 10, OneDrive allows you to backup profile folders to your OneDrive account, such as desktop, pictures, and documents. If you click Next, those folders will be backed up into the cloud. If you prefer not to upload those folders to the cloud, click the Only Save Files on this PC. On this page, you can also install the Office apps through a Microsoft 365 subscription, but you can always do that later. So click Not Thanks. On this page, you can enable Cortana, and also you can enable the assistant to respond to Hey Cortana. If that's something that you want, check that option, and then click the Set button. And now you're back into the desktop. The last thing left to do is to reinstall your apps and restore your files from backup. You can quickly confirm that you're running version 20H2 because the new version of Microsoft Edge will be installed on your computer by default. You can also check the version by opening settings and on about, you can confirm that you're running version 20H2. And that's all there is to it. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date for this new version of Windows 10 and more. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.